is in the camcorder. Yes, it is recorded. Let's see. What are you talking about? Where's the camcorder? Here. That records? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So let's look at it. The first one, I have uh, 8,000 BTU. Can you see? The first thing I want to do is to convert that to EDR. So EDR equal 8,000 over 240. And I get what? Thirty-three, forty-three. It has voice too. What? It ha does record voice as well. Oh, okay. So this is my ADR required. I will go and look up my. Oh, that was a good beat though. Appreciate it. Go ahead. Seven tubes. It's two below. This is the two below one. Seven tubes, and I said twenty-three. There's nothing blank apparently, so I'm gonna go to twenty. Or I can go 26, up to you. So I'm going to pick one of those. I'm going to pick the 20 because probably it's going to be cheaper. So 3.67. And this will go, if you read here, it's per section. This, uh, these are the number of tubes. So 7 is going to be a little bit wide. So I will divide number of section it will be... 33.3 over 3.67 and that will give me our nine sections. We're good? All right. Number two. Uh, uh, 1,000 BTU. That's very small. Probably a bathroom or so. I'm using a uh, columnar radiator. So at first I will compare this to 240, so it's going to be really small. 4.16 is my CDR. Then I'm going to go to column radiator, which is this one. And how many? 22 inches. It's here. And how many columns? Four columns. So it's going to be four. So 4.16 over 4. And that will be one point something. I'm going to say one section is enough. Not very realistic. You draw really see two sections, but one section you can do. And if it's a very small area, so it's good to have only one section in there. Number two. Number three. Let's try again. We got a room with 12,000 BTU. So 12,000 BTU over 240. Yeah. Thank you. Fifty. ADR. So now I'm going to go and look at what am I looking for? Twelve thousand uh, copper convector. So I'm under the convector now. Copper convector. And these are really nice because you can size them with depth and height, so to suit your needs and your space. So to uh, twenty inch high, which is here six inch deep you can go also with length so the deep is the width apparently and height of how it is and how long would i go so these are the length i'm going to go with 20. again i was get a smaller one because it's going to be cheaper you can go higher it doesn't matter so i'm going to pick the first one and my from here if you can see the adr is uh, 16 50 over 16.3 that will give me three uh, section. That's the inches. That's the area. I need three of those. Three sections. Four. Again, the same thing. Repetition, 15,000. 150, 50,000. 240. So I got... Uh, and I'll go and pick up again. 
the same idea. Uh, what do we have? 26 inches high. And go all the way to 6 inches deep. I can go with 18.8 all the way up to 66.1. So, this is the size is going to be at 20 inches. This is the size convection is going to be. So, what is my size here? Uh, huh? Yeah, 4. 62. Can I tell the AC with you? Please. Uh, you need to do a, uh, a cast iron converter, not a copper. Yeah. Cast iron, okay. So it's going to be 26? 16.2. 16 16.2. 16 okay. So 62 over 16.2. That will give you 3.827. Okay. Actually, hold on a second. This is, uh, I forgot to read this. So these are not sold by section. This is what you size upon. You size upon the, the, the dimension. So it's not by per section. It's you have to match the, this number. So going back to question three, if I need 50 with this uh, dimensions, 20 inches and 6 inches deep, I'm going to go and try to match these numbers here. So the closest I can get to is uh, 50 here. So I'm sizing based on the length. So 50. I match the length. Now it's going to be 56 inches long. Oh, really? Yeah. And here. So you saw the threes. So what we do here, we have the, I gave you the length, I mean the height, and the, and the width, and you try to match whatever length will give you the same EDR. So for example here, we have 15,000 over 240, we get 62, and we have cast iron with uh, 26 height and 6 inches deep. So I'll go down and try to find the closest number. So this will do, this is close enough. So I'll go with uh, 44, uh, 63 uh, length, which is going to be 63 inches long. Which part? Here? Yeah. Yeah. So 62, uh, I will look up the, the numbers here that matches. 62 at uh, 26 inches and 60 inches deep. This is the. 58.7. So. Right? Yeah. Where did you get the 68? You go here and see how long it is. So you got 6. So if you see here. Oh. So your EDR for it then would be 58.7. So what are, these, what are these other numbers that we that we have on the questions for them? So like you got the just this twenty two inch height and whatever, isn't that? Yeah, this is the height up here. This is your height. This is your uh, depth. Oh, uh, so you gotta go, gonna match the number here and you can find which uh, what is it? Uh, uh, one more. Let's do one more. So number five. 7,000. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Turn the AC, please. Turn the AC. You gotta open that door, too. Yeah. Helps waft some of this musty air out. So I got uh, 29 EDR, right? And what am I looking at? Oh, this is cast iron. So let's, iron. Look at, let's look at iron. 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 That's iron man. How many feet? Yeah. I'm not going to say. It's 8.5. Right? 
Jesus. You give me shrooms or something. What's wrong with you? 8.5. 2. Let's cast iron. Okay. Let's do number six, seven, and eight. That repetition. Same thing to practice one. You just pick the number you need. Okay. Like, if you didn't even get caught, you 29 my iPhone was like playing a game. How do I stop this? It was straight.